Hello, my name is Olivio Duarte. Welcome to Mobile World Congress 2024. Today, I bring you the Ethernet over 5G FWA demo. Uh, we want uh, 5G to be not only a evolution of the networks, but we want it to be a uh, transformative force for CSPs. So we are looking for innovative ways for CSPs to monetize um, their network. And we believe that this, is, this will be an excellent uh, solution for that. Let me give you a short introduction about it. Uh, everybody is very familiar with FWA, Fixed Wireless Access. So at home, you connect to the internet, and this is very spread um, on the world. Then we are now thinking about enterprises and uh, how enterprises would benefit for uh, Ethernet over fixed wireless access. So you think about it as enterprise needs to connect to remote offices on a very secure, reliable, and affordable way. And uh, Ethernet over fixed wireless come exactly to fill this, uh, fill this gap. A, a second opportunity for that would be a fixed internet service provider. They would start providing services for the long distance uh, subscribers using the CSP 5G network as the infrastructure uh, for that. And uh, how we basically do that. Let me go straight to the demo and show that to you. So uh, we have here a live demo with those um, two CPs and those CPs represent the remote locations. And connected to them, we have those two cameras. So the video from those cameras are broadcasted, uh, broadcasted uh, all the way to our uh, radio inside the technical room using a real 5G network. So how do we do that? Let's uh, add a new services and use uh, enterprise first. So we define a company, we define a Ethernet connection, and we define a... Uh, um, location for this new enterprise. Let's say we have a headquarters here in, in Barcelona. Then we're going to create uh, those two remote offices that's now represented by those two CPEs you see. So we're going to add uh, the device number one, and then we're going to add the device number two. So we define what kind of, a, uh, what the VLANs that we want to share, that could be tagged and untagged, and we're going to use our fast Mayo solution. So we click next. On top of those, uh, this Ethernet, we can also add the 5G unique capabilities, like the low, ten low latency, uh, extreme high bandwidth, uh, and the slicing. So we just define what services that we want to add. We're going to have a suggestion of the price. And then we click next. Then everything is OK. We click the build. So now you can see that the system is extending the Ethernet connection from the CSP to the enterprise, and then it's extending the Ethernet PDU session from the CSPs to the end users. So it means that now we have a direct Ethernet connection from enterprise to the, ends, um, to the remote sites. It means that's the layer two connection. So it means that IP addresses are assigned by the enterprise. The CSP basically provides a Ethernet connection, Ethernet, let's say, tunnel for this connectivity. It's completely transparent. And it's very important to mention, it doesn't touch the internet. So it's a very secure connection. As you can see, the video has already started to, to transmit. You can see here the camera number one is transmitting. Then the camera number two is also transmitting. So the 5G network and the uh, Ethernet connection is established. And how we can show that to you? This is a, a, a log from our SMF that um, based in Frankfurt uh, uh, AWS site. So you can see that we have two internet connections with IP addresses. It means that uh, this is a layer three, and those are two mobile phones we, we have inside that the technical room. But then you see that there is two Ethernet connections, and they have no IP address because they are layer two connectivity that's provided by the enterprise end-to-end -end connection. Then let me show, it, show you a second example. Let's delete this one. 
So we're going to add a new service, but now it's going to be a wholesale. We go for Ethernet inline location here in Barcelona. We click next location. We're going to add the remote site number one, this side, and then remote site number two. Click next, define the, uh, the 5G unique capabilities that we want to provide. Click next, check our configuration and click build. Now, as you can see, the CSP is extending the Ethernet connection from the uh, CSP to the ISP, to the fixed internet service provider. And then we are extending the Ethernet PDU session from the CSP to those two remote uh, CPs. It means that now a fixed uh, internet service provider can use the CSP 5G infrastructure to provide internet access to their uh, remote subscribers where the, uh, the cables wouldn't arrive. So as you can see, the cameras has already started uh, streaming. So you can see again, camera one and camera two are moving. Okay, so good. So what I want you to, to uh, remember from this demo, we are now providing a new monetization use case for CSPs that's quick to install and affordable because it just depends on those two CPs, very easy to install. Uh, it's a reliable connection because it, depend not, it doesn't depend on, the, um, on the cables and it's very secure because it doesn't touch the internet. Then uh, one single packet core, SMF and UPF, can handle both layer two and layer three connectivity. Layer three means uh, the traditional FWA system. And uh, on top of this, uh, the 5G unique capabilities can be upsold to final customers. And finally, why Nokia? Nokia has a um, cloud packet core um, convergent solution. That means um, wireline 2, 3, 4, and 5G connectivity. Uh, we have a very, uh, we have a cloud-based solution, cloud native, with all the benefits that the cloud brings. And we have a high performance UPF, either on the cloud or on the, on the edge of the network, based on the latest uh, chipset available on the market. So thank you for your time.